Yo, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here and today we're going to be going over how you unlock every single camo in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. We're talking multiplayer and we're talking zombie camo challenges including some of the weapon class specific challenges, the technical, the performance, the mastery, everything that you could think of. So let's just hop right into it. For the first category of challenges, we have the performance challenges. These are all based on your performance in game. They're variants of headshots, uh, one shot kills, taking down score streaks and getting some knife kills. So for the first camo we have is the hunt camo. You need five headshots to unlock this camo. The next one we have is patrol for 10 headshots. We got panther at number three for 15 headshots. Monsoon is next for 20 headshots. You get agitator at 30 headshots. URD at 40 headshots. Bengal at 50 headshots. Massacre at 75 headshots. And then finally, you unlock Red Tiger at 100 headshots. So the weapons that require the headshots are the assault rifles, the submachine guns, the light machine guns, the tactical rifles, and the pistols, as well as the SDM sniper rifle, which is a semi-auto sniper rifle, and the SG-12 shotgun, which is a semi-auto shotgun. The other three sniper rifles, as well as the MOG shotgun, all of those require one shot, one kills, and then the launcher requires up to a hundred score streak takeouts and then finally the combat knife requires up to your hundred knife kills now for each of the you know headshots one shot score streaks knife kills they all require the same amount of kills for the cameras it'll still be you know five 10, 15, 20 one shot kills or score street takes other things like that. Pretty straightforward stuff. Let's jump into the technical camos. You aren't able to make progress on the technical camos until you unlock all of the performance camos. And the technicals are a little bit different. They're pretty much the same across all the weapon classes with exception to the roller rink camo. So we'll, we'll go over roller rink last. For the mother of pearl camo, you need to get 50 kills without attachments on the weapon of your choice. For Purple Hex, you'll need to get 50 kills with an optic and 5 attachments on the weapon. For Penthouse, you'll need to get 2 rapid kills 5 times. And for Spectrum, you'll need to get 5 Bloodthirsties. And those challenges apply to the assault rifles, submachine guns, LMGs, sniper rifles, shotguns, pistols, and tactical rifles. For the roller rink camo, you have to get 10 long shots for the assault rifles, sniper rifles, and the tactical rifles. And then you have to get 10 revenge kills for the submachine guns, light machine guns, and the shotguns. The one, or I guess two classes I don't know what the challenges are for is for the pistol. I'm not sure what the pistol roller rink challenge is. I can't be bothered to work on the pistols right now. And then I also don't know what the launcher challenges are. I have an idea, but once I do have it confirmed, I'll pin a comment down below with the details so you aren't missing out. Because the launcher camos are going to be very, very different. And the other weapon that is very, very different is the combat knife. For the roller rink camo for combat knife, you have to get 10 backstabber metal for Mother of Pearl, you have to get five Survivor Medals. For Purple Hex, you have to get five Revenge Kills. For Penthouse, you have to kill five enemies with their own weapon after killing them with the Combat Knife. And then finally, the Spectrum Camo requires five Bloodthirsts. So I guess that's the same as the other ones. But that's uh, that's all you need to know for all the weapon classes in the game right now. Finally, the last category for Multiplayer Camos is the Mastery Camos. For Gold, you have to earn all Camos for a weapon. So that's all the Performance Camos and all the Technical Camos. Then you unlock Gold. For Diamond Camo, as always, you have to earn all the camos for a weapon class so if you want diamond on your assault rifles you have to earn gold camo for each of the five different assault rifles and then finally we have dark matter camo which is earning every single camo on every single weapon in the game that's getting gold camo on all the assault rifles submachine guns tactical rifles like machine guns sniper rifles pistols shotguns launchers and combat knife then you unlock dark matter and be a boss so that's how you unlock every single one of the multiplayer camos. Let's jump over to Zombies real quick. Zombies has its own set of performance and technical camos. I've leveled up my ICR so I can tell you what the technical challenges are for those so you can get an idea. But I'm pretty sure they'll be streamlined across the board and the performance camo unlocks seem to be uh, the same for every single weapon that I've inspected so far. So for the performance camos, you have Overgrowth, which you unlock at 100 headshots. Next is Tundra for 300 headshots. Then we have Rend for 600 headshots shots, Tropic for 900 headshots, 
Royal for 1,200 headshots. And again, these are zombie headshots in the zombies game mode. Then we have Mangrove for 1,600 headshots. Clash for 2,200 headshots. Dune for 2,800 headshots. And last but not least, Green Tiger for 3,500 headshots. Now, the Assault Rifle Tactical Challenges are you have to get... 2,000 kills with the weapon when it's Pack-a-Punch for the Gutterball camo. Then for Spore camo, you have to get 2,000 kills without any attachments equipped in Zombies. Red Hex, Red, Red X, Redux, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not going to look it up. Don't flame me for it. But that's 2,000 kills with an Optic and 5 attachments. Next is Emerald UG, which you have to kill 50 heavy zombies with the weapon. And then lastly, we have Silverfish, which you have to kill 10 mini zombie bosses with the desired weapon. And then well, that will give you all of the zombies camos there may be a secret you know mastery camo for the zombies that we don't know about or they may add in the future so again stay tuned look at the comments for any updates but that is how you unlock every single camo in call of duty black ops 4 at launch multiplayer and zombies hopefully you guys enjoyed didn't put it up right away i wanted to make sure i had all the challenges myself and had some footage of them so you can see everything and know everything in one video so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to future gaming and call of duty content while you're at it hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads links are down below in the description for 10 percent off control freaks as well as into the am apparel you also find goodies down there like my amazon socials links links to all the gear used to record and produce videos things like that but again hopefully you guys enjoyed my Skater. I'll catch you guys on in the next video. Peace out.